2,000 Light Years Away was not on the set list, and Father of All was. Let's talk Green Day. Green Day have been ignoring their last five albums when they perform live. At worst, this is a sign of being a washed-up has-been, and at best, it's a band dealing with with uh, mixed reactions from a fan base that's been spoiled for 35 years. With even their most polarizing and completely dismissed records going silver, the Green Day Band from Oakland, California are far from washed up. So what is happening here? The Hella Mega Tour is one thing. It's a nostalgia trip for longtime fans. No, that, that can't be it. Were the Trilogy and Revolution Radio both troll albums like Father of All was rumored to be? I don't think that a band would waste their time recording a troll album. Also, I absolutely adore 2012 to present day Green Day. I'm even a defender of nightlife. Come at me, bro. What's the real reason they aren't playing new songs? This is what I think. Billy Joe Armstrong has seen the declining sales from streaming and the different, just the different things that are happening on Earth. The mixed bag opinions and fan reactions, and he doesn't want what he perceives as further damage to the brand. And that's not purely a business move either. He wants the fans to be cheerful at shows. And if you polled the Earth, I'd be willing to bet the album sales of Trey that Longview and Basket Case is kind of what planet Earth demands to hear. And just when I thought Green Day had forgotten how to play anything but Idiot and Dookie hits, on June 11th, 2022, Stockholm, Sweden, Earth, they had a set list that had Father of All on it. The Prince-inspired high-pitched vocals, the down-and-dirty guitar thrust with the dangerous rhythm section popping strings in your face on their bass. It was supposed to be played between Boulevard of Broken Dreams and Longview, which is placement for occasional audibles in the show, where the band switches one song that's been played 800 times for another song that's been played 799 times. But the band pulled the title track in favor of the tried and true 2,000 Light Years Away, a song the band likes to pretend is the greatest hits from their indie days. And the crowd went wild. Going back to the trilogy and Revolution Radio, if you thought that the trilogy and Rev Rad got done dirty, oh love. Most of the trilogy songs got played once or twice. The only trilogy tracks that were completely ignored on the stage are these. You got, you know, See You Tonight, Baby Eyes, Nightlife, The Forgotten, and The Forgotten. Just literally forgotten. Revolution Radio got its day on the stage as well, with just three tracks being forgotten. Say Goodbye was teased a little bit, and then you had Outlaws and Bouncing Off the Wall that just didn't... Didn't seem like they'd be a good fit for the stage life. But foam! We got the title track several times. Oh yeah! And fire ready aim a few. And then the world exploded. Earth, boom, bam, boom. Just like the cover of Dookie. To date, Green Day have only performed songs from foam 19 times. The album with the next least performances is Dose with 120 before 86ing it from their rotting existence on stage. Oh, it goes back to what I said about Billy Joe Armstrong and possibly the entire team behind the Green Day brand not wanting to further sink themselves, even though they're still doing pretty good. Lots of pretty pennies all around Mike Durant's mansion. First people, uh, you know, First people start going to the bathroom while the songs they don't know are playing. And then before you know it, Trey Cool is moving out of California into the rough and tumble world of South Carolina. And he's in one of those bad South Carolina tans. But I would argue that playing the new stuff wouldn't anger that many people. And it would boost the sales for Father of All, uh, you know, sales and streaming, even if it's just by the tiniest of margins. It might make some new fans that aren't crazy about the 90s pop punk stuff. Who knows? Me personally, I'm definitely in the minority 
when it comes to what I want to hear in concert by Green Day, give me Too Dumb to Die an American Eulogy. In the comments, let me know what you would like to hear live that they just absolutely don't do. In conclusion, the title track from Father of All Mothers gives me hope that Green Day are considering expanding their live show a wee little bit. And I think that once they do, they'll have a lot of fun playing that. Check out my other Green Day videos, and I'll see you in the year 19, 9, 1992, 1972. I'll be driving a Trans Am. You'll be driving your own car. Thank you.